Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. This week's top five, the top five things you need to know before you go to that on snow demo. That's right, your favorite company is showing up to your favorite resort and they got demo product for you to try and you want to get out there and try the new stuff because your shit's old and washed up or maybe you're just a gear whore and you like riding new things. Anyways, this is what you need to know before you get there. Number five. It's not a rental. Don't treat it like it's a fucking rental. Like you're going to take the whole thing all goddamn day. You got the board. It's set up. You're going to go ride. You make a few laps. You come back. You either get your shit back or you swap out to something else. There's no reason to hog that shit all day because sizes are limited. Selection is probably limited as well. And someone else wants to ride it. These fucking people that show up first thing in the morning and grab a board when they don't know how to fucking ride and then they disappear for the whole goddamn day with it and they come back like 10 minutes after you started packing everything up. Yeah, no, fuck that person. Don't be that person. You're not that person. There's no reason to try to hog it all fucking day. Number four, you're gonna need a valid credit card and ID to take this out. Why? Because if you fucking steal it, they've got your credit card and ID. Or if you break it, they've got your credit card and ID so they can run it. Which, conversely, understand that you don't want to ride it like you stole it and break it. Those reps actually pay for their fleets themselves. That's coming out of their pocket. Unless it's like a corporate demo. But still, even then, why the fuck are you abusing this shit? Don't abuse this shit. Ride it like you would your own. Like, you know, within reason. Like, if it hasn't snowed in weeks and there's rocks poking through in the trees, don't ride through the trees and just trash everything they fucking have. It's called being an asshole. No one likes it when you're an asshole. Number three. And this should go without saying... Know your stance, know your preferences. If you're a jib person, you probably don't want to ride a stiff-ass freeride board. Just the same if you're a freeride guy, you don't want to ride that tiny-ass little jib noodle out there. Like, know the width of your bindings, which is from insert to insert and your angles and everything. You know, that way you can kind of just have them set it up so you got the same stance, so you know what the fuck you're doing, but know your preferences. Understand this shit. It's not that hard. Someone shouldn't ask you what's your stance. You go, I'm, I'm not here. I don't know. Yeah, just, just little more nose than tail. Yeah, yeah. I. Fuck. It's not that hard. You know where the seat setting is on your goddamn car and where you like it. Why don't you know where your fucking binding setting is? Number two. Be grateful for the opportunity to test new gear, but be honest with them, you know, explain to them maybe it wasn't your preference or what you thought was wrong with the board. That feedback is actually invaluable to the reps because it helps them when they're talking to the board designers and marketing and stuff on like what might need to be tweaked for future models. So be honest, you know, if it's not a good board, say it's not a good board. I see so many people that just fucking ass kiss all the time. And then, like, the second the rep's out of your shot, they're shit-talking the goddamn product. Just be fucking honest. It's not that fucking hard. Honorable mentions. Don't steal. This shouldn't have to be said, but don't steal it. You're a dick and you ruin it for the rest of us. Bring your reps food. They are fucking hungry. Feed them. A happy rep is a content rep, which means you get a good, happy setup. If you have some old product, like ancient from that brand and it's broken don't go in and bitch to them they don't they it was probably before they were even the fucking rep for it shit breaks get used to it this is not the time or the place to go in and be like i need replacement parts for my fucking 25 year old van switch step-ins you fucking suck buy some new shit don't bitch about old shit especially if it breaks after you've owned it for 10 fucking years every fucking demo i go to there's always one of those assholes at it And the final honorable mention? No, you can't buy it. They're not selling it. It's there for you to test and then actually go to a shop and buy it from a shop so that we can have a healthy fucking ecosystem. And the number one thing you need to know before you go to that on snow demo, you just might suck. Now, I'm not calling anyone out specifically, but I've been to enough demos where there's literally just people that suck at riding and... They suck, and then they take something out, and they still suck, and they come back, and they suck, and they can't understand that it's the fact that they're just trying new equipment that's foreign to them when they have no fundamental fucking skills. Like, maybe you need to just ride more before you try to demo everything you possibly can. 
Which goes back to number five because I feel like those people are just treating this like a free rental. Don't be that person. Snowboard more. Get better at it. There you go. This has been the top five things you need to know before you go to an on snow demo. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss one? Leave me a comment down below. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here. I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.